Hi, family. Welcome to yet another video. This is Prince of Pond TV. Now, to those of us that don't know Prophetess Inka, she is among the prophetess that always speak uh, whilst um, our late prophet Tibi Joshua was alive. Now, in the recent video that we all watched from C News, um, Bisola made mention that the late prophet Tibi Joshua molested her, but thank God she came and spoke in the light saying that what Bisola said is not true she was never molested in any way she also made mention that um the late prophet Tiba joshua is a true one of god and there's no doubt about that family after we watch this video we're going to watch a different one from pastor chris as he also thus as some lies that people tell on the social media. So let us watch the first video from Prophetess Yinka. In view of the ongoing issues circulating on the social media about my mentor, Prophet E.B. Joshua, all the blessed memory, I, Prophetess Yinka, by the special grace of God, have a moral devotion to speak as the Spirit of God leads me. I want to speak as the Spirit of God leads me. By the grace of God, I lived with Prophet E.B. Joshua for 26 years until his passing in 2021. And I want to say categorically that he is a true and great servant of the Most High God, a man full of the Holy Spirit a man of value, integrity, a man completely dedicated and committed to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ throughout his life. I witnessed the transformative power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through him. And I believe there is no amount of word I say here that will be enough to describe him. But I'm sure that many lives that God transformed as I am, revived and blessed through him can say it all. May his gentle soul continue to rest in peace and power in Jesus' name. Amen. And to all body of Christ, Christians all over the world, I have this to say to you. Just as Jesus says in Luke 22, 31 verse 32, I pray that your faith will not fail. This means there will be some factors such as this that will challenge your faith. Those issues, let it draw us closer to God because they serve a useful purpose. They are there to redirect our focus to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. However, let's the situation draw you to watch and pray because prayer and watchfulness are the weapons we have against these perilous times whatever is going on right now maybe in your heart around you remember there is no temptation or test the devil can bring against true believers of christ that can be greater than Jesus Christ himself. You and I can be sure that we are an overcomer because the one who overcomes lives inside of us. If there's anything that you don't understand, go to God and pray. He will reveal the truth to you. I encourage you to have a personal relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that will last forever viewers all over the world. Let us go back to the Word of God. The Word of God is the final authority that settles all peace and questions in our hearts. Family, as of you heard from her, so she has made it clear and known that she has worked uh, with the late T.B. Joshua for 20 years and she knows that she is a true man of God and she was in no way molested by the late tb joshua now another video is from pastor chris as he talks about the lies on social media family let us listen 
as uh, Pastor Chris speaks about this. Why should we allow men who can tell lies at home tell lies to their friends? Why should we allow them to control the whole world with their own information? It's unacceptable. I, as an individual, I know that the press doesn't tell the truth all the time. In fact, most of the times, they lie. Why? Because they lied about me too. Yes. You see, you can know yourself more than anybody else. So when they told things about me that I knew were not true, I now knew that, oh, these people tell lies. Because I could prove it by myself. That they lied. If they never lied about me, maybe I won't be sure whether or not they tell lies. But I can tell you, they and tell a so. lot of lies. Family, you all heard it. It is very clear, family, that you see so- social media has now become a place where people tend to propagate lies. And these lies are becoming too much, as Pastor Chris said, and we should fight against these things. Family, we've, we've watched these two videos and it is clear that the right thing needs to be done family thank for watching i will see you in the next video god which day bless you